All right, welcome back everyone to History for the Ages. This is one video I'd really love to get input from a lot of the people watching it, which is this question that of course everyone's familiar with AI and will it have a bigger impact than the Industrial Revolution had on our world? So I cover the Industrial Revolution every semester. I have videos on it as well and uh, my YouTube channel you could watch. But the question is, you know, when the Industrial Revolution happened, it had a dramatic effect on humanity, something that no one's ever seen before. You know, I'd basically tell people, look, if you were born in the uh, 1860s and died in the 1960s as a result of the Industrial Revolution, you went from basically a horse and carriage lifestyle to seeing a man land on the moon. Um, and so the question is, will AI have quite the same dramatic impact? So let's talk about this a little bit. So when you think of the Industrial Revolution, kind of again begins mid-late 1800s, it urbanized our world. It, of course, changed uh, occupations dramatically, right? One example I use with all my students is in, in Britain, there were hundreds of thousands of hand loom weavers, people who basically made clothes by hand. And by the end of the 1800s, that was nearly gone. There were nearly none of them. And so it had a major impact in changing occupational, right? Occupational specializations, what people can do. And during the Industrial Revolution, that didn't make a lot of people happy. In fact, there was this one group of people known as Luddites. I don't know if you ever heard that term before, but if you describe somebody today as a Luddite, uh, it basically means they're kind of your your backwards technologically, you don't understand technology well and all that. So the Luddites were a group of people during the Industrial Revolution who so despised the machines and they thought it was going to take jobs away from people that they resorted to violence and uh, sabotage of factories even. Um, so there was that concern during the Industrial Revolution. And of course, when we think of AI, there are people today who have very serious concerns about it, which we'll get to in the next slide here. Uh, but overall, if you look at you know, our world today and compared it to before the Industrial Revolution, obviously the Industrial Revolution is going to have some negative impacts on society, but it also created a whole new middle class. It created the ability to you know, mass, create mass food supply, right? I mean, you know, as a result of the Industrial Revolution, we could produce an unbelievable amount of food. Um, all the life conveniences that we take from granted, from whether it's an air conditioning system that we have, uh, the frozen foods we have that we like to eat, um, you know, just everything you could think of, um, you know, cars we drive uh, and, and everything that we have today uh, could never have happened without the Industrial Revolution and free time. You know, think about this before the Industrial Revolution. If you're an average person and again, before the Industrial Revolution, there was basically the super elite and everybody else. Right. And everybody else is basically spending their whole time, you know, working and, and making food and in a very often rural atmosphere. Now you had more free time. You know, you get, you know, all the modern recreational sports we do and things we have, the technologies people like to enjoy and have fun with music to listen to. You know, I tell people before the Industrial Revolution, if you wanted to listen to music, you basically have to perform it yourself or you have to go somewhere. Now, you know, just any device we have can play music for us, anything we like all over the world. It's astonishing. So the question is, you know, overall, while there were, of course, issues of pollution and, and child labor issues, and I go into a lot more detail of that in my, my deeper lectures on Industrial Revolution, overall, it greatly improved people's lives. The question is, what will AI do? So AI, you know, a lot of people talk about it as a tool, right? As a tool to, to help. You know, I, I've read a lot of people who think, you know, if you have a lot of disabilities, it's something that could help you out. It could be a tool to, to write better. Uh, maybe you're not a great writer. You put it into the chat uh, GTP stuff and, you know, hopefully it could correct your writing. The problem, of course, I think with it is human nature. And with AI, you know, if I, you know, I've run already this with my students is, OK, it's time to do a paper. And I've had to tell my students, you can't just take my um, my question, my essay question, plug it into AI and have it write it for you, because then you haven't done any of the critical thinking. You haven't done any of the analysis. You're just letting a machine do it. Um, and that's the kind of bigger uh, fear I would personally have with AI is what is it going to do to individual's ability to critically think you know this is a as i'm recording this this is all during this big writer strike and in, in hollywood and uh they're not writing and you know one question i have is what impact is this going to have on other jobs just like the 
Industrial Revolution impacted tremendous amount of occupations. What is it going to mean for writers, movies, people who write speeches, poems? And I've had people say, well, you know, AI isn't creative. It's not original. And my reply is, well, not yet, right? You know, the whole thing about it is it's still in its infancy. It learns. It gets better. Um, and there is AI, not just for writing. There's AI for music. There's AI for art, right? Photography, um, where you can create photographs of, of individuals that never existed or, or, or scenery, and you could just have a picture of it. And you, it's getting harder and harder to tell what's real and what's AI. Um, and so that's kind of an interesting element of it. And then there's another issue of AI, which is, you know, the bias of AI. You know, AI, will it give you the information that is unbiased or is it going to give you information that it's programmed to give you? And then it's the life choices that are instinctive can AI do. So, and of course, there's, you know, one idea of driving cars, self-driving cars. All right. So you're driving and your car is driving by itself. It's, it's a great kind of question, moral question that people have with AI driving cars. It is, is it going and you see a, a kid running across the street with a ball? Does, does, it, does the AI swerve and if it swerves does it hit a pole and kill the driver does it go straight what about the child how does it react how does it know what is the right moral thing to do at that given time so there's all these kind of crazy questions um you know will vocational work become more valuable ironically enough maybe a throwback to before the industrial revolution because you know ai may be able to write may be able to do uh poetry may be able to do all these things but can it you know do the electrical work in your house? Can it do the plumbing in your house? Uh, so I do think whether you like it or not, you know, somebody else told me this, you have a better chance of stopping AI than stopping the tide. I mean, stopping the tide is easier to stop than AI, is that it's there, it's real. And the question is, how will it impact our lives occupationally? Are there jobs that we haven't even foreseen? You know, some of these living through the early part of the Industrial Revolution, I don't think they would have foreseen the jobs that would have been created as a result of the Industrial Revolution 50 years later. Maybe we're not even seeing and thinking of the new jobs that are going to be created by AI 50 years from now. Or is it such a game changer that, you know, as individuals and human beings, we're going to become just not able to have a role in society, which is kind of the scary scenario. So it's things to think about. It's interesting. I'd love to get your thoughts about it. Um, so please feel free to kind of share them in the comments. You know, do you think AI is good? Do you think it's bad? How do you compare it with you know, other events, you know, you know, I, I've had students, uh, uh, people I work with say, well, AI is no different than like spell check or when computers came around, it just made life easier. And I just don't agree with that. I think it's definitely got a lot more it could do. You know, AI couldn't write a spell check, grammar check doesn't write a whole paper for you without even thinking. Um, and AI does that. And then, you know, will, will students actually begin to do that? And then how can you tell the difference and all of that stuff? So some cool things to think about. Leave comments. Uh, feel free to share this. I'd kind of be interested in what everybody thinks about this one. All right, everyone. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed thinking about that stuff.